All right, well, recently we've had some very windy days, but do we always know which direction the wind is blowing? Our Candace Monticelli, she joins us live to show us that tool meteorologists use to figure it all out. Candace, good morning. Good morning. Hey, within the last couple of weeks, we learned what a barometer is and made one of those that measures pressure. Today, we're going to learn about a wind vane, a weather vane, and that measures wind direction. So we're going to build one this morning. Here's a list of what you need to get started. Piece of cardboard, markers, pencil, straw, construction paper, scissors, a push pin, plate, ruler, and glue or tape. This one's a little bit more involved, but this is the perfect time to do it at home. Gives you an activity for the whole afternoon. So I did some prep work on this. First, you wanna take your plate and just cut out a larger circle from a piece of cardboard. Trace the plate on there and cut out that circle. Then, when you have the bigger circle, use a ruler, or in my case, a tape measure. I don't have children, so I don't have rulers in the house, don't know why. But you take the tape measure and you wanna just draw for two lines, cutting this circle in four squares and then label this north, south, east, and west in the perspective spot. Next, you want to take a straw. Cut off the bendy part. We did this with the barometer as well. Cut off the bendy part and then out of construction paper, you wanna cut out a smaller triangle and a rectangle. And then in your straw, you need splits in either side because these triangles and rectangles, these are gonna slide right in these slits and this is where you either glue or tape them in. And this then creates the top of your wind vane. So again, it's a little bit more involved, but this is the time to do it. And uh, this is just cool to watch each and every day. So the final few steps here is you take that push pin and you push it through the center of your straw and then push it out of the top of a pencil. You don't want to push it down all the way. You want this piece on the top to be able to move because now you put this pencil in the middle of your piece of cardboard, take it outside, use a compass, set it up the right way, and then you push this pencil either into a flower pot or the ground, and then this piece on top will start to move with the wind, and we'll be able to measure the direction of the wind. That's exactly what a wind vane does and it's usually paired with an anemometer, and that measures the wind speed. So when we say something like the winds are southwest 10 to 15 miles per hour, we're meaning the winds are blowing out of the southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And wind has a lot to do with how we determine our weather patterns. So wind vanes, they're perfect to help us determine when the weather patterns are going to arrive, what direction they're coming from, what speed, even could see uh, when heat waves arrive too. So for wind vanes, the arrow is pointing in the direction the wind is going and our rectangle piece catches that wind breeze. So if you try to make these at home, some of your pictures on Facebook will feature our future meteorologist on my Facebook page and a full list of instructions will be on fox17online.com.